Hey, you alright guys? It's Curtis here from Level Up FBA. Um, just want to show you a quick fix for uh, the recent issue that some of us have been having with Bible Pro due to a recent Google Chrome update, uh, which essentially has left half of us uh, with not having 100% functionality with Bible Pro when doing online arbitrage, which is crucial uh, because it's... Um, not letting us see how much particular sellers have in stock of an item or the price they're selling it at, which um, it, it, it is absolutely crucial to know uh, when you are doing online arbitrage because it determines how much and how deep you go on a particular line. So um, I'm going to switch over to my computer now. I uh, hope the guide does provide some value and it does fix the issue as well for you temporarily. Uh, if it does, leave a like. I'd really appreciate that. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> Cheers. Bye. Right, okay. So literally all we've got to do is download an older version of Google Chrome so it's compatible with Bible Pro. And it's actually quite simple. It did take me a little while to figure it out, but um, it is pretty straightforward, to be honest, if you follow this guy properly. Um, and it's uh, easy to understand. But... First things first, you want to find out what operating system you're running. And you do that by going onto your start menu, into the control panel, going onto your system and security, or looking for your system, and looking for a page that looks like this. Now, your operating system will be under your system, system type, and it will tell it here. So, I'm running a 64-bit operating system, which means I'll be downloading a 64-bit operating system program for my computer so it's compatible now there's a link in the description of this video and you want to make sure you click on it as it will bring up this page here now this is called slim jet and this was actually recommended by karen herself as a temporary fix uh, which is fantastic and all you need to do is ignore this you want to go down here so if you're running a 32-bit version you want to download this one or this one I think I'm pretty sure it's just this one you need to download. Or if you're running a 64 bit version, like I am, I downloaded this version and it worked equally as fine. So I would do this now. So I would click this and copy it. Control C or right click and copy it. Then you want to go onto your. Um, you want to go onto your control panel programs programs and features look up chrome and click on the chrome here and you want to uninstall it do not delete any of your settings or anything like that or browsing history or think nothing like that at all you just want to quickly um, literally uninstall google chrome from your computer that is literally it now once you have done that you're going to want to have to open up a new tab so i'm going to load up mozilla firefox I can't remember the last time I honestly used Firefox or Internet Explorer, but uh, it's going to probably take forever. Uh, I've just clicked on an update, which I didn't want to do, but there we are. Right, so now you want to paste in the SlimJet link that you copied previously. And then find the operating system that you want to download. So I'll be downloading this. Now, before I do download this, I know what's going to happen straight away. I'm going to download this, and then within five minutes, Google Chrome is just going to update itself automatically, and the issue is going to happen all over again. So, you want to go on to start and type in run, and then you want to type in ms config exactly like that, and click OK. Now here you can uh, access your system configuration and you want to go on to your services. You want to go down to hide all Microsoft services and then look for Google update service, Gupdate and the other one here which I can't actually see, Gupdate M. So these two you want to go here and you want to uncheck them. So they look exactly like this. And basically what this is telling the system to do is that if there is an available update for Google Chrome, uh, don't update it. Keep the current version and let it run. This will need to be changed, however. Please re re remember this as well. 
Uh, check in a few weeks' time on the official BioBot Pro forums. On the Facebook group, sorry, I'll actually link that as well. I'll try to link it in the description as well to see when Karen has uh, released a new update uh, to be so it's compatible with uh, Google Chrome. And then all you need to do again is go into uh, your system configuration through the run menu and enable this so it automatically does update and stays updated as well. Uh, but yeah, click apply and OK. I've done this already, so I don't need to. And then you want to download the new version of Google Chrome. That is it. And that is literally all you need to do. So you just click save file, download it, go onto your computer, um, go onto the file, sorry. And that's it. it is that, that, that is literally it. That is all you need to do. So some people may have uh, some issues. And it may say things like, oh, um, Google Chrome cannot close because there's a program still open or whatever because you should have all your Google Chrome tabs and browsers closed when you are downloading a new update for Google Chrome. Uh, if that does happen, just go and right-click on your taskbar, click on Start Task Manager, find chrome.exe um, and end the process. That will basically tell the system just directly close it like if you see here i've not even got chrome open but chrome technically is still running in the background and it is using my memory and it is making my computer slower um but yeah if that does happen you just go into that and you click end process and that is it uh, if you are also again having some issues with the update um on your computer you may have to restart your computer and do the guide again uh, but besides that that is literally it it is really that it really is that straightforward so um uh, yeah hope the video has helped um if it has helped i really appreciate it if you would just sort of write a comment or something or like the video or subscribe that'd be even better i'd really appreciate that and uh yeah happy hustling guys uh peace